And so we wanted to have a celebration here to be visible to the community to say that we support marriage equality. I remember 23 years ago when I started the Queen's Pride Parade, there was hardly an elected official in the borough who would have their picture taken with us. Now we have at least one, and I know two, in the neighboring district, openly gay elected officials in the city council, and we're going to work on even getting more. So our movement has come so far. But I want to also say that that history, we didn't get here one day just by waking up and saying we got marriage equality. There were many people who laid down their lives for this cause. Julio Rivera, who this corner over here is named after, was killed by three white supremacist skinheads out hunting, and that was the word that they used for a homosexual to kill. And on the other corner, on 77th Street, Edgar Garcon was murdered by a hateful uh, heterosexual person as well. But fortunately for us, we have heterosexual straight allies. And if we didn't have our allies, we wouldn't have gotten as far as we are today. So I am ecstatic. I am not married yet, but if you know of anybody you want to send my way, I will take it into consideration and hopefully find the perfect partner. But um, I just couldn't be happier. It's an emotional day for all of us, and I'm going to ask some of the other people who have joined us to come up and to say a few words. And first, I want to ask Brendan Fay. Brendan Fay who had the foresight to, to know that this decision was coming, worked so hard on the marriage equality trail. He was taking people up to Canada at one point to get them married. In fact, he worked very closely with Edie Windsor, helped Edie Windsor get a lawyer that eventually represented her, and eventually had the uh, Defense of Marriage Act struck down. Brendan Fay, thank you. And he's straight from Ireland, where Ireland led the United States Thank you, Danny, and how great it is to be here. Good morning, America. Today we all woke up to a new day. Today, yesterday, the United States Supreme Court, with their decision, transformed history, transformed lives for families, for same-sex couples like Tom and I, for young people, for all people who helped pave the way. It was a day for equality, a day for love. It's been a long road, this road to marriage equality in the United States. And, but it has been a road of love. People who dream of one day that their loving relationships would be treated with justice and with equality before the law. Yesterday's decision, after yesterday's decision, the words with liberty and justice for all takes on new meaning for same-sex couples for the LGBT community. I got involved in this marriage movement through another activist, Jesus Lebron, a Puerto Rican activist from the South Bronx, living with AIDS, who helped eventually form marriage equality because he believed how important that was. Eventually, and with my spouse, Tom, we crossed the border like many couples to Canada. That was in July 2003. And after that, we helped many other couples cross the border. After yesterday's decision, there is no more crossing borders. When Tom and I got married, one of the officiants at our ceremony, I remember Reverend Barbara Crofton said to us, the day will come when our grandchildren will be amazed that there was a time when couples like us were denied the right to marry, just as people were amazed and are amazed. There was a time when persons 
when couples of mixed race were denied the right to marry. That day has arrived. This is a marvellous day and we celebrate it. And I'm so glad to be here and to be alive and to have been part of this movement. Tom and I, by the way, we met, we actually met at Mass. Um, we're um, at a Catholic group called Dignity, a group for LGBT Catholics here in New York. We met in January 96, and we crossed the border to be married in Canada in July 2003. And after that, formed the Civil Marriage Trail Project, bringing many couples across that border.